Okay, so this is a simple introduction to one of the basic joints in cardboard modelling, which is the right angle joint. And first I've got a good, a bad and the ugly, if you will. So this isn't particularly good in that there's grain of the cardboard, corrugated cardboard going that way and also that way. So they're in opposite directions, which means when you glue them together, although the joint is reasonably neat, because this piece is only hanging on to the bottom edge, of the corrugated cardboard, it's very very bendy. Now having said that, that might actually be really useful if you're trying to make some sort of joint, but for now we're just trying to make this as stable as possible, so it's no good. Now the second one, we've managed to keep them in the same direction, so the grain is parallel, uh, and this time the problem being that the glue when you press it together sometimes spreads out. Now, although this isn't the worst, you could just be neater, it's actually better still, structurally, if you manage to make a little cut so that one piece of cardboard fits inside the other. Um, I guess it would almost be similar to a rebate. So it means that it's both quite neat, as you can see along the edge, and also quite strong, in that I'll probably manage to break the card before I break the joint. So there we go. So, to begin, we take a piece of card, again noticing that there is the rough side which is a little bit lighter and the slightly nicer side which is a bit darker. You don't have to be particularly fussy about which sides line up, um, indeed sometimes they won't always manage to, but as a rule it's nice to start as you mean to go on. So let's say we cut this into two pieces that we want to join together. So let's suppose we want to join them like that, or like that. Again, if we can make them fit into each other, it would be much neater. So let's turn this over, light side facing up. And again, if we just fit that on the side, so we can gauge with our ruler roughly where it is. And this is a bit simpler than having to basically measure however many millimeters thick your cardboard is, although either method would work. So what we're trying to do is cut not all the way through the cardboard, but say down to about there. So just down to that bottom layer. So let's do that now. It's best to try not to do it all in one cut. So come back again and you'll feel and possibly even hear that it's much smoother. So I'm taking my time on this, but generally you'll get probably get good enough to do it in one. So you could use this ruler, or you could use a smaller ruler, which allows us to push off this top layer, and so what we're trying to do is tease off this top layer of the corrugated card. And we'll just do that in one reasonably clean motion like that. And so as you see, we're left with a little step, which would allow our cardboard to fit in quite nicely. Now don't worry if you've just left a little bit like that, you can usually quite easily just pick it off and it will come away. No problem. So we take our glue gun and gently and quite steadily load the glue into the recess. And as you can see from it steaming almost, it's been on for quite some time so it's really quite hot. So it will do no harm at all to just wait a moment to allow that to cool down a bit so you don't burn yourself. And then we just place the cardboard into the groove. Now I did one end first and then the other and then I've run my finger down it like so. And we can just press it on the table to make sure that that's a good finish. And before it completely sets, just make sure that they were square. You can either use a surface like this, which has grids on, or to be honest, quite often you just end up eyeballing it to see if it's good. So there we have our joint, which is certainly a good enough present presentation for any sort of model that you're doing. So that's the basic right angle joint.